have lived here for 49 years. Norman Carver Jr. designed it and we moved in in the fall, in November of um, 1958. We had been married out in Wilmington, Delaware, and a lot of people of very modest circumstances thought they had to send their children to private schools, mm. and then they didn't think they wanted to send their kids to the public schools. Mm. And we thought everybody should go to public schools, and so we felt right at home when we got here. And after the war, my husband got a chance to have a job at Upjohn. Oh. Parkwood Village started out as a group of people who wanted to uh, have a community, develop a community. And they particularly wanted it to be a non-discriminatory community. And I think the reason they particularly felt that way, there were several Jewish families in the group. And you know, back then, some Platts discriminated against having Jewish people live in wow. their community. But so this was started um, by six families who felt idealistic in this way. And they, they uh, spread the word and quite a few other people joined. And then the question was, who was going to lay out the plat? And after talking about various people, somebody said, why not see if Frank Lloyd Wright will lay out the plat? <laughs> wow. And so uh, some of them went up there to uh, Spring Green, Wisconsin, and talked to him, and he was interested. And he laid it out with circular lots. Hmm. 40 circular, circular lots, lots. 40 wow. circular <laughs> lots on this property of 42 acres, which had been farmland. And we thought that was great, and some people began developing. We, by this time, we had gotten by lot to choose our lots. We had placed, and we had all decided how much we thought each lot was worth in relation to $1,000 as the midpoint. And so between 1,200 and 800, everybody went around and looked at all the lots <laughs> and decided which, how much each was worth. And then we uh, got to choose in the order in which we had joined the organizations, with the first six doing it by drawing straws. We joined quite a long time before we built, because it was during the uh, um, Korean War. And we thought, oh, we can't build a house during the Korean War. We'd just been through World War II, and we mm -hmm. thought it would be very similar. Okay. Is there anything that you'd be willing to show us about the house? Sure. Well, that's the carport in there, and this is the tool shed on the, on the, on the back end. Right. Now, are you the lo are you are you the last are you the one of the only original people left, or? or? Are there others still well, first, around? I wasn't one of the six of them, but I was, right now, I have lived here longer than anybody else who is still here. Okay. So he came here and spoke, and I met him, but some of the people in the group really, you know, really talked to him and really got to know him a whole lot. Of him. What do you have in the oven? <laughs> Now, Sean, don't go pilt. No, no, I'm not trying to do it. I just didn't want you to have anything burn. <laughs> no, no, I didn't This is an absolute treat, Marjorie. Gorgeous. Yeah, wow. Well, spend a lot of time in this area, which is kitchen, dining room, and the porch. It's warmer on the porch than it is inside mm -hmm. right now, so I was just going to go eat my lunch out there. Now, what are the similarities and differences between the Norm Carver and the, the, the Frank Lloyd Wright? Well, the Frank Lloyd Wright houses are all built with his special block. Now, those are cement blocks that aren't like regular cement blocks. They have grooves on the edges. Do you know what I, what I mean? Yeah, by they have the, the pattern, the triangle pattern. Well, they, they do have that, but the essential thing about them, they use a stack bond method of putting them together. And each block on its, uh, it has a front and a back face, but the upper surface and the two edges are all concave. 
And so when you stack them together, that leaves a round hole this way, and when you have others over here, a round hole this way. So they put steel rods in those. Oh. And then they pour cement in those to, to bond the whole thing together. Wow. So, wow. so now each one, they incorporate some pigment in each one, so different houses are different colors. And then they have a pattern block that they use just for certain areas in the house. Hmm. And you can see all the cupboards, and that's, that's because there isn't any attic, and most of the basement is, is rooms to live in, and therefore you need to stack things away someplace. Uh -huh. Right. Now, did, was Norm as uh, fastidious about uh, dictating what kind of furniture and stuff? <laughs> Not as much as Frank Lloyd Wright, <laughs> but uh, never forget when, when we were talking about plans and so on, and he would always say, and the piano will be in the basement. And my husband would say, no, the piano will not be in the basement. The piano will be in the living room. And the next time we'd talk to him, and the piano will be in the basement, he'd say. <laughs> also, these, you see those things up above that have a space above them? Yes. And they are open on top, they aren't flush. And I said, I don't really want them that way because they will just collect dirt mm -hmm. and they will be so hard to clean. Mm -hmm. Well, finally, my husband and, and Norm Carver ganged up on me and, <coughs> and they, they had them that way. Oh, with, really? with my husband promising to put covers on them all. He did it on half of one room. And the, are there lights recessed up there, or no, they're just no, spaces? No, just just dust just, collectors. Just dust collectors, yeah. yeah. This is an interesting room. Oh my gosh. Did you, did you get that? Can you do that again for us, Marjorie? You have to bang twice, is that? Only in summer when it's, when it's damp. So you can see this is a two-story house, but it's out of joint like this, so that makes four levels. But actually every room has another room under it. Well, we should have let you eat your lunch. Yeah, thank you so much. This, this has been amazing. Really, very, very kind of you to do. Anybody a botanist? Uh, not exactly. Uh, okay. Um, I was trying to figure out what those are, yeah. and I was looking in my shrub and tree book, and I, I didn't get them pinned down. I think my daughter knows I'll ask her.